welcome back to my channel so today i am going to be doing my very first wash and go my very first wash and go i've been wanting to do a wash and go for the longest of time i've been natural for 10 years now and the only time that i did like a wash and go was probably like the first year i was natural and i just used pretty much water and when i look back at those pictures i'm like Ooh, sis. So today I'm going to be doing a wash and go and I've already washed my hair, deep conditioned and did all of that. Um, I actually already put leave and condition in my head already but let me show you what products that I will be using to attempt my first wash and go. So the leave and conditioner that I'm going to be using is the main choice prickling pear leave and conditioner and then I'm going to be using the main choice prickling pear curl creator styling custard so i'm going to be using these two products together to see if i can achieve a good wash and go okay and then i'm going to be using another gel which is my fave which is the wet line extreme gel in the blue so like i said before well i don't even know if i said this before but i did apply the leave-in conditioner prior to coming on camera just because I like to apply it in the shower just so my hair can stay nice and moist and doesn't stay dry. So hopefully I'm already starting off on a good start. Am I? Y'all please tell me. Am I? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and divide my hair into four sections and then we're going to go ahead and start the styling process. So you guys, y'all pray through me throughout this process because I don't know what I'm doing. So you guys, I've divided my hair into four sections. So I'm going to go ahead and start with applying the Prickling Pear Paradise Custard on first. And then I'm going to go ahead and layer with the Wet Line Extreme Gel. So, yeah. I also have a bottle of water here on the side just in case my hair does get a little dry. Now, I don't know if I want to do the shingling method. You know what I mean? This is my first time here. So, we shall see. I'm going to go ahead and just detangle my hair with this good old wide tooth comb. I'm so nervous. So I'm going to go ahead and take some of the custard and just apply it here. Now I don't really know how much I need to apply. And then I'm going to go ahead and take some of the wet line extreme in the blue and just layer it on top. Okay. My curls are already popping from right there. I just wonder how this is going to dry. I'm very curious. <sighs> Y'all, this is exhausting. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I have did the first section, and this is how it's looking. So, let's see. I feel like my curls aren't really weighed down like how I'll be seeing some of y'all do it. So, I guess I'm going to just add some more product at the top of here. Okay. Whew. Okay, you guys. So I'm completely done this one side. And my curls are like, it's so popping. But I feel like it's going to be like super duper short once the shrink is come. But so, you guys. So, yes, I'm done this side. So I'm going to go ahead and do this side off camera. 
so y'all don't have to see the whole struggle bus okay so but how do you guys think i'm doing so far look at my curls look look at my curls okay so i'm gonna be back once i'm done this entire side okay you guys Ugh. Okay, you guys, so I'm officially done applying all the product onto my hair, and I'm kind of excited to see what the result's gonna look like. Now, it seems like the back is, right here is drying up uh, really quickly, so hopefully it doesn't take too long to dry. I don't have no type of diffuser, no nothing. All I have is the Revlon One Step, and that's not really a dryer. Um... <laughs> So yeah, so hopefully it doesn't shrink too much, but, but obviously it's already sitting right here, so we shall see what it look like. So you guys, y'all pray for me. Okay, you guys, so I am back. Um, It's probably been, let me see what time it is. It is 8.13. It's probably been about five hours or four hours since I finished applying all the product the gel and the custard and everything and so my hair is i guess you can say like 85 percent dry now i did notice that they do have like um some cream products still here um and also like my roots are still wet i guess that's normal i don't know i don't know but it does have like a the gel cast where it's kind of like hard so i am going to apply some oil to it just to break the cast a little bit and just to let it dry a little bit longer but i do want to see if i can actually like stretch it out now my sis does not have you know the diffuser like i said or just a regular blow dryer all i have is this now we're gonna make do or what we can you know what, what we have i'm an er nurse and you know, we kind of play like MacGyver so I can do it with my head too, okay? Use what you got. We're going to see if that even works. But, so yeah, so let me go ahead and break this cast with some oil. But just so far, I am actually liking the curls. I mean, I don't like the whole shrinkage because i'm not like a big fan of short short hair like this this side i like way better than this side i think i put too much product on this side which is why they have like the whole white um residue still sitting there but this side looks good so i think i know what to do for the next go around because i do want to try this again you know we gotta perfect this no trial and error so we're gonna go ahead and use this now I'm going to put this on low heat um, and we're going to see if I can manipulate this hair. So should I part section off my hair into different sections? I don't even know. Let's just wing it. Okay, you guys so this is how my hair is looking so far after blow drying so we're gonna just well, I can't even pick the roots because it's still like a little wet so I'm not gonna even tamper with that too much but I do like the whole like bang situation a little bit now this side definitely has to still do some drying here I tried my best not to tamp with the ends too much because I didn't want it to get like all frizzy and whatnot. But I definitely like this side better, y'all. Okay, you guys. So this is going to be my final look for this washing day. Washing day. This is going to be my final result, I guess, or my final tampering with for my first wash and go. Now, y'all tell me what y'all think, how I did. Now, if I was to grade myself on like a school grade level, you know, an A, excellence, or an F, failure, I would give myself a C. Okay, because obviously, you know, we still got a whole lot of product here, but I think I, I got like, you know, 
on how I can fix that. Now this side, I really do like a lot. There's still a little bit of product in here, but it's totally not finished drying. But I do give this a C, okay, for participation. But yeah, so what do y'all think about my first attempt on a wash and go? And what advice can y'all give me to make these wash and goes a little bit better, sis? Because you know what? I feel like I want to rock these new little styles. The winter is coming up. Even though, I don't know, is it good to do a wash and go in the winter? It's kind of cold in your hair. I don't really know. But, you know, I just feel like this is a nice little cute style. Now, I don't know how long it's going to last. But it's cute for today. Okay? And hopefully for tomorrow because this is got work. But, so yeah. So if y'all did enjoy this video, go ahead and give this video a nice thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and hit the bell button so you're notified every single time when I post a new video. And also go ahead and comment below some tips and tricks to help assist out on doing a better wash and go. Okay. I already know I need a diffuser or something, child. I regular blow dry because this ain't gonna work. <laughs>